Welcome back to some Return of Yobridin. I'm Dear Darling, and let's discover what really happened to Yobridin. Now, I just want to quickly jump back into this memory. Because I want to get this guy, who's called Martin. Martin, he's a third mate. So this is first, first mate, third mate. So presumably one of these is probably this guy's the second mate. But uh, I, I guess we'll sort of leave that on the back burner for now because that's kind of obvious information, isn't it? Um, I don't think we have any other useful information to garner from here. How do we how do we leave this area? There it is. I think we should just maybe start heading below deck. Oh gosh, I need to like turn down my mouse sensitivity. I'm turning it down manually on my mouse rather than um doing it in the game. How about just slow? That's not very slow, I'll be honest. I found it's a bit... What did I click? The end. Abigail. I, oh, I didn't mean to jump into this again. Brother. My friend. I Sorry about that. I, was, <laughs> I misclicked. I'm trying to um, change the mouse DPI. So I think... Okay. If we're just going to change it on the mouse DPI, we, we should probably just... Keep it on here for now. Um, a mouse DPI, sorry. I think... So it does seem like these... Do these corpses? These corpses do stay above board. I'm a bit fuzzy just to let you know that these are ones gathered from a memory. But it has told us that we can now go below the ship here. Which is useful. Seeing if anyone's got caught in the... Rungs. Maybe we've got like a corpse hanging up there or something. Not that I can tell. Or discern. So what we've got going over here. Got a load of cannons. I guess X means it's locked. You can't get through. I guess that's understandable. So we'll just assume you can't get through those. The cannons. Probably should have been using these again to beast. Oh, apparently they did. Um, to a less fortunate end for this person. Bet he's a powder monkey. What's happening? Loose cannon. I wonder if we ever had to determine something from like their accents and their voice. That'd be very interesting because I am bad at determining accents. Is this a dead body? Looks like two people got crushed by a cannon. You guys are conveniently blocking the way upwards, I guess. So that seems like one of the captains. Do we know this person? This is the third mate. This is Martin. Okay as everything started going south. Um, we've got another dead body here. Don't know who you are. I'm trying to, what are you doing? I think he's doing the orders to f do the firing squad. Um, why do the artists, by the way, choose that time to render everyone in a picture? <laughs> During an execution, it's not the most glamorous of things, I suppose. I wonder if we have to look at the face to really try and discern who they are. This is... Don't know. Don't know who that is. I hope we won't have to make any, like, rash nationality judgments. <laughs> because I think it might be bad. <laughs> oh, not necessarily. <clears throat> Let's try not to rely on stereotypes too much if we can help it. Who is this? How do they die? Well, they clearly got crushed by cannon. We don't know who they are yet. But we know there's another dead body just sort of chilling underneath there. I think it's the only one. Yep. And this pile of wreckage. Oh, wait. Is this guy not dead? Wait, where is he? He's gone. Okay, I guess he's not dead. He's just injured. This guy seems to be torn in half, whoever he may be. How we can figure out who on earth he is is a wonder to me. I thought there was a guy underneath this palm. Maybe there isn't. I guess I got him out. Let's have a quick look around and see if there's anything else we're missing. A lot of structural integrity. Been sacrificed over here. It certainly looks like there's going to be a dead body over there. You can see the blood stains of the ground. Cancelled it. <laughs> I like the music in this game, it's very dramatic, you know. It's got a little bit 
a little bit of spice to it. Oh gosh. <laughs> the fuse. <laughs> oh god. Ah, I see, but the beast grabbed a cannon and pointed it at him. Causing him to be shot. Poor guy. Um So these are all the people over here. Do we know you? Ah, you're you're one of the people we've seen up there. Ah, you're you're one of two people we've seen up there. You have a guy torn in heart. All very familiar faces to us. I don't know what this is. But this is for cleaning with cannon, right? For cleaning with gunpowder or something in it. I have some vague knowledge of this. Do I? Not really. I don't know what these sticks are for, to be honest. So that's clearly for lighting the fuse. Is there someone? There's someone underneath it. I don't know if we can get a good look at them, though. We don't know who... Ah, so that, that was a guy we saw before. He's probably got crushed. These are the cannonballs. Hmm. At some point I have a read through the glossary and try and discern people's like positions and job titles and that sort of thing, but ah, that's, we'll do that when we get when we hit a wall, I suppose. So this guy was Which one was this one? Which one was this one? I don't know, bring bring me back to the memory so I can look. No, I don't want to do that yet. So that's this guy. This guy was, I guess, shot by a cannon, by a beast, I guess. And then this guy over here. Well, we don't know he's dead. Who's this guy? I didn't see someone else dying, unless that's him on the ground. No, that's someone different. It's not him, is it? It's this guy. Hmm. Where is he? The fuse. Am I blind? I don't see him. Maybe he got like knocked out of a window? Or is he on the other side of this? There's a door there, so probably not. Maybe he's in this mess. Bless this mess. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do this corpse guy first. Who is this random person? <laughs> I think I must be blind. We'll, we'll have a hop back into that memory and try and find him. I don't know where you're going, but isn't the corpse over here? <laughs> yeah. I think that's bad, because if it pops up, I think it's meant to be like, you can determine how this person died. But I didn't even see him. Aim level. Ready? Oh gosh. Belay spark. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. A lot going on here. Who are you? Ah, this is the guy. What? I swear I didn't see you before. Are you the third mate again? Oh no, you're the guy who got um shot by the cannon, right? Ah, I see the beast is holding on to you. And this guy got crushed. As he lights a spark. Here they are trying to load the cannon. Okay, so I had to jump back. Ah, see, that is for cleaning the cannon or whatever. Or maybe it's shoving cannonballs in? I don't really know. So you got shot, we already know that. We don't know who you are yet. You're presumably someone quite important, judging by where you're standing in the portrait. You are probably just some powder monkey. I think powder monkeys are the people who load the gunpowder into cannons or something, right? Perhaps this guy also got shot and I just didn't see him in the explosion. So we'll have a jump backwards and try and find that out. Uh, load. Who is this? We don't know, but he's been crushed by the beast. I suppose it's probably the best way to do that. We don't have a lot about identities. We've got a lot of fates, but not a lot of identities. 
not sure if there's much else. Do we know who? Have we seen you before? This guy. Friends with friends with this guy. Ah, you know, I didn't notice that um until just now, but a lot of them are hanging out together. So maybe they're, they're people who knew each other before, maybe like brothers or something? Friends? Where's the door? Where's the door? I want to jump back into that third one and see... Is that third or fourth? I can't remember. Third one, I think. And try and find... Try and see this guy. You know that, um... Balding man. Like, this guy's that guy. Where did we have a guy go? Oh, was he blasted through the door? I can't interact with it in this memory. Because he was definitely behind him. So I don't know... We can't say for sure, but we, I guess we can kind of infer that he's also been shot by the beast. And you see that the wall's sort of breaking there, so I think he's been shot through the wall. So let's see if we can get to the other side of that wall and try and find him. There's a door there, after all. Perhaps where, that's where we'll see his fate. I wonder whether we'll stuck any more identities, because it's going to be a bit difficult without them being like, Oh, you, mister. <laughs> Whatever. Hmm, I guess he lived. Or his dead body's not here anymore. It's kind of hard to tell. But y you can see definitely the war broke here. So, oh, maybe he was like s sent off a ship. I don't know. Hopefully that's something I'm not missing. If it is something I've missed. Whoops. It seems like a, a lifeboat place. It seems very uneventful over here. I mean, I mean, this guy's bleeding out. Probably dead in here. Here we go. See if there's anything else interesting. No, nope. all right. Is this two? No, it's just one body. Very awkward position. Looks like he had a knife fight. Oh no! You're cut. Oh no! Don't. Is that a Scottish? Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Okay, but the, the guy dying is is English. The guy talking to him is Scottish. You tell her yourself. You tell her yourself. Brennan, bring Brennan. the surgeon's kit. So if there's a guy out here, he's called Brennan. So this is some Englishman. Have we seen him before? I don't think so. This guy is the first mate. We already know that. Is he Scottish? Scottish? Q contents. I want the crew. Scottish. Makes sense. Who's Pete? And Brennan. See if we can see them here. Maybe it'll be helpful, maybe it won't be. Um Pete and Brennan. We have a lot of different nationalities here. So this is Pete. He's a midshipman. Brennan. Henry Brennan. Alright. Let's, let's get me out of here. Do you think this might be Brennan? I think it's plausible. This could be Brennan. He's unblurred. So he's he's listening out. Oh my god, who are these people? So that's that guy. Uh, that's a guy we've seen above ship and now he's dead. This is some other important mate, it seems. Judging by the hats on my head. I don't know why he's killed both of them. In a fit of rage or something. So I'm guessing you're Brennan. Henry Brennan, he's a seaman. Actually, so we should look at him. His uniform. Just trying to determine because presumably all the people of the same rank have the same outfit on. He's also going around murdering everyone for some apparent reason. Can't say I know why, but. <laughs> so these events happened after the beast attacked. Is that right? Because that guy with uh, the captain's hat on, not the captain's hat, but like the officer hat on, seemed to have. Um... Oh, I didn't pay attention to how this guy died. <laughs> Nine. Yes, so this is afterwards. I 
I think he was stabbed. I wasn't really paying attention. Who is this? How do we die? We'll, we'll, we'll see afterwards how he died. Actually, we don't know how he died. But we can assume he was fighting Brennan over here. Oh, he's not the corpse we want? You want a different corpse? No, you do want this corpse. But only this corpse. Screw you, other corp corpse, apparently. Intriguing. Have a look around. Sorry about that, a little bit of a pause there, as we jump straight back, not jump straight back into this, it's been a little bit of time, hopefully I can still remember basically what was going on, but I remember this guy bought Bossman, <laughs> Bowman, <laughs> Bossman, <laughs> um, oh yeah, this guy basically just killed a load of people, um, my mouse seems like a wrong speed, there we go, so this is, he clubbed this guy, this was someone else who got stabbed. Ah, this is the English man from before. This must be that Scottish first mate or whatever, who apparently did not see this going on, despite it being rather loud. Okay, so we don't know who he was stabbed by. It's, I assume one of these three people. Uh, I, I don't know who's on which, <laughs> who's on whose side right now, <laughs> nor why are they fighting. What happened to this guy's face? It's like been completely blown off. Where's his hat? Don't know, something happening over there or something. Doom, doom, doom. Sorry, that, that, that might be a bit sickening if I do that. <laughs> oh, we should have looked at who was what. Oh, that's fine. As, as soon as we get to walk around the, the memory ourselves, <laughs> that's when free rain comes back. So this guy. He's been clubbed by, what's his name, boss man? Brennan, that was it. <laughs> but of course we've got another dead body here. Presumably this one. Before we can finally get back to walking around as we want. At least it's rather easy, I think, to, to jump into people's memories and that sort of things and figure things out. Well, maybe not figuring things out, but sort of, um, like, this is a very complex game with a lot of different systems. The fact that, um, who made it? Lu Lucas Pope, right? Has made it r relatively, you know, simple to actually tie all these systems together. You can jump back between faces and names easily and memories. Oh, we're planning mutiny. Mmm. Wretched fish. Oh? Uh, uh, uh? There's a lot of fighting going on. Oh, gosh. So we still don't know how this guy got stabbed. This guy got his face shotgun blasted off by... Who is this? By this guy. What? I don't know who's planning immediately. I'm gonna guess you are, because you look like an older gentleman and your voice sounded older. And then other Mr. Brennan comes running in. Once he hears what's going on. Who are you? Ah, you're you're the, the first mate, the Scottish guy, right? Who are you? Are you the captain? You are the captain. There's some sort of mutiny going on for you. Um, don't know what's going on here. <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> so let's try and do it piece by piece. Snip by snip. Stitching it together. So this guy got... So was who was he... Yeah, who was this guy? He, he got shot. 
by Gun. By... Do we know who the other guy is? I don't think we know who the other guy is yet. Another dead body. I, I, I've got to assume it's this guy. <laughs> How many dead bodies have I had to walk through? Okay, I guess this is a thing. It's sort of like um, this daisy chain of corpses you have to go through and discover before you can really get the time to put together what you want. This game is going to be terrible to basically like remember what I did every single week, every time I come back. <laughs> I can, I can see it happening now. Well, I'll, I'll do my best to keep it in my brain. It looks like he's being thrown overboard for some reason. Can't imagine why, but... Okay. Ah, so people are trying to escape on a lifeboat. This is... That guy. This is one of the guards? That guy, I don't know. He looks slightly Asian, to be honest. So this must be the first mate. This is the, the captain. He's being shot by this lady who we've seen, seen before. This is some guy. Her husband, maybe? This is the other girl? Okay. So maybe these two are related. I've also just noticed... Wait, how many... Okay. This is, the this is a deduction rating. A higher rating means that this person will be more difficult to deduce the person's identity. Focus on the easy deduced identities first and leave the more difficult ones for later. Um, I was going to say, I was going to see how many women there were on this boat. Because there weren't many. Winston... Tom served an Emil? Unknown passenger. <laughs> so we got Emily Jackson, Miss Jane Bird. Formosa. These are very, um, not British looking names. I, 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 I'm going to take a lark here. Unless we see another woman. I didn't see another woman. Presumably, these four people here are, sorry, these four Formosan royalty over here, right? I don't know what Formosa is. Yeah, Formosa. So there, there, there's um, some order. So these two are the only females, if I could say that so weirdly, are the only other two women on board who are these two here. This woman looks significantly older than this woman. So my guess is that this is Emily Jackson. And this is Miss Jane Bird. Notice Miss here being a rather important part. I and mean, I guess this is your husband? We, we don't have sufficient information, which may suggest to me I was gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get it wrong. Okay, so maybe that's not your husband. Okay, well this guy... Who are you? But you super get shot. <laughs> that's all I can say. Oh gosh, we have a lot of things to backtrack through. Hmm. <clears throat> and we've got another dead body here, amusingly. <laughs> the daisy chain, it never ends. It just keeps going on forever and ever. So 11 others were present. We don't know who this is. But they were... Sh shot by a gun by... Um, Miss... J no, Emily Jackson, sorry. The older woman, as we have another dead body. Just sitting here. Who's this? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> My foot is so itchy. So this guy is being pushed overboard. He's been shot. We know that. Um, so we are going backwards through events, it seems. Which makes it even more confusing to look through. <laughs> Trying to decipher what's going on. We don't know much about you, from what I recall. Have we seen you before? I keep accidentally cancelling, so you keep, keep double-clicking for whatever reason. Try to... Move quick. Poor oh, lookout. Okay. Ooh. Hmm. Definitely some sort of sword fighting going on. So, let's think. 
Well, presumably you're also alive because you escaped on a boat. And so did you. But we don't know who you are. No. What? I, I just... Take me to your page. Oh, we don't, we don't get to see your fate yet. Okay, I see. So who's protecting who? I mean, presumably, since she shot him, he must be protecting them. We don't know who this is. But apparently we can identify him. A oh, Paul, right? I thought it said Paul. Paul Moss? Did he have a Welsh accent? Luckily there's no duplicate names, otherwise this would be very difficult. So he's probably Paul. Let them go. Okay, well, I'm going to have to let this fade before we can do anything else. Are these the Formosan people? Or like one of them? No, he's not. He's just some random guy. <laughs> the captain shooting anything? Haven't been looking up in a lot of these memories. There's the first mate and Mr. Brennan. Can we see what's going down here? Oh, he's listening into a mutiny comp. Oh my god, there's another dead body. <laughs> it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Okay, okay. Well, this person's been stabbed by a sword. I assume he's Paul. Paul, look out. Stop, let them go. No, it was the lady. Damn. Last one, move quick. Yeah, so a bit, a bit about to this guy. So he, he was stabbed. K killed, sword. By. We don't know who that guy is yet, so. But we got another dead body as we seen this guy listening to the mutiny. This being. Is that Brennan? No, this is. Ah, oh, that guy who's trying to stop them. Oh my god. <laughs> there's too much going on, there's too much. My finger's so itchy. It's gonna be so difficult to remember. Next time. That's okay, we can step through the memories again. I'll try not play this in big spurts and long gaming sessions otherwise um, I'm going to forget what happens every so often which will not be good it happens, it happens with Spirit Fair. like I play for four episodes and then two weeks later I play again I'm like I don't know what's going on um excuse me what happened oh it, you just took your sweet time I wonder if the, the path you tr trace out really means anything. Or perhaps I'm trying to read too much into something which doesn't have much of a meaning and it's just sort of there. So why is this guy just randomly dead in the middle of a mutiny meeting? Who knows? Who knows? It's actually very helpful the fact that I'm blur it, showing you that you should know who they are now. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Okay, there's a few people we know who were torn apart. The damned. That's good. So this guy's friend is called the damned. Nothing. What sort of accent is that? So it's you two planning a mutiny. You and Captain Guy. But you're not Captain Officer Guy. <laughs> so we should be able to figure out who you are? Interesting. I have no clue who you are. We do have a verdamped somewhere. Or we don't. <laughs> Did I skip over him? All these unknown people. Okay, so apparently we can figure out who you are. Still can't figure out who you are. Still can't figure out who you are. Are you a captain? You were first mate. You were just sleeping or something, I don't know. 
You a captain? No, you're some random guy. Oh, were you the person who was stabbed? You're the captain. Gosh, this is this is bewildering. I don't know how we're, we're meant to figure out who you are. Nor did how you died. I, I guess you died to the beast, as implied through the dialogue. Did you come from upstairs? It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, it doesn't look like someone just randomly chopped your hand off. Your arm off, sorry. But we're meant to know who you are. Hmm. Maybe he's a Frenchman, because he was asking for a French person. I couldn't tell what accent he had, though. Mainly because I wasn't paying enough attention to it. Put me down. Where's my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was on. Verdamped. The beast is dead. Verdamped. Wait, maybe that's like, damn it, in like, um, German or something. <laughs> Where is my Frenchman? Well, we know they've been... T torn apart? That doesn't seem right. I was going to say, like, dismembered, but that's not one of these options. I'm going to say torn apart. By someone. Okay, so how many French people do we have? We've got this guy, Charles Minor. He's a bosun's mate. Ah, so maybe you're... okay. Mmm, okay. He's the only Frenchman on board. And he's a bosun's mate, so you're probably the bosun. Nope. Sorry, wrong way around. And I, I've got to assume whoever you're standing next to Is going to be the bosun himself, which I want to do quickly. So one of these is probably the bosun's mate. Maybe this guy. I don't know, I think this is a good place to round it off though. We don't want to get too much going on. Uh, we, we know you are Brennan. I just want to put in the things that we couldn't put in before. See if there's anyone else that we should know. You. I don't know how we should know who you are. Gosh. You? We don't... What memory are you even in? First memory. Okay, maybe we can figure out you are because you're holding onto the wheel. You're like the... The helmsman. That seems plausible. I think this is where we should lead this off to. We'll, we'll walk out this memory and we'll all... Trying to decipher basically whatever we can through the steps of his memory. Next time, uh, as we're running a bit overboard here. So, if you haven't watching, oh gosh. We've got some things to fill in first. <laughs> There's going to be like eight dead bodies or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh? Dying bodies? Ah, disappearances. Four wayward souls disappear during the events of this chapter. Their fates are catalogued here. Uh, and we don't know what happened to them yet. But we've got a lot of things to walk through. Um, I guess we'll, I'll leave myself near the beginning so I can sort of piece by piece walk, walk through it again. But we've got a lot of things to try and decipher in the next episode. Um, was it over here we started? Yeah, maybe. I can't remember. I think so. So, um, but that's going to be a lot to figure out next time. But if you haven't watching, thank you very much. If it's been Return of the Obridin, I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscriptions, shares, all greatly appreciated. Join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. I hope we can see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye bye for now.